Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, this episode in the series of Gnostic Psychology. And the topic of today is women attractive to men. So let's get started. This is according to the Gnosis. According to the Gnosis there are mainly three kinds of women. That's what we can call the courtesan women, the normal women, and superior women. So let's uh, see what each of these kinds of women represent. First one is what we can call the courtesan women. Um, unfortunately, in our current situation in the world, this makes probably most of the women especially as um, the propaganda, social media attempts to portray this kind of um, behavior of something desirable, tries to sell the idea to young women that this is how they should behave. But um, let's see what is uh, the summary of this. Of course, this is like a extreme behavior, but um, there are different degrees to which a woman can behave in this way. So you will probably not see most of them in a single person. Uh, rarely you will see all of these traits in a single person. But even a few of these traits are enough to render this woman with a very low value for, for a real man, for a man that wants to work on on its own, who wants to work on um, his own spirituality, who wants to become a superior man, this woman has very low value uh, and is definitely sometimes uh, not worth the effort. Because uh, as you have seen in previous episodes, I have tried to be as honest and real as possible. It is possible to change but uh, the work needs to be done. Change doesn't happen automatically. Evolution will not change you, who you are. Evolution will not uh, change anything about your personality. You can change your behavior, but your nature won't change unless you decide to work on yourself. So from that point of view, changing is possible, but uh, it's rather um, I think uh, more convenient to start work with good material rather than with inferior materials. And in this case, um, a woman is part of uh, our life, so we want to find the right kind of woman for our life so that uh, we can have a good life. And e even in the most basic sense, material sense, it's good to have a good woman beside you and not a woman that will be dragging you down. <clears throat> so the courtesan woman is a woman uh, who behaves in an openly sexual way, usually with a very strong feminist mentality. There is a strong sense of entitlement. They feel like uh, they deserve everything and uh, they, they feel um, this kind of uh, they are in this kind of position where they can demand everything and anything because they deserve it, yes, because they're women, while at the same time they refuse to play the role in society, their role in, uh, in a relationship, and it is overall um, part of the hookup culture, this kind of woman who feels like um, uh, everything is on her favor and she can do as she wants, she can go around having sex with anyone and everyone just to please her own ego. It's a woman that is usually unwilling to commit to a serious relationship, has uh, a lot of masculine traits. Um, and this kind of woman, it is uh, according to psychology, they despise men. They actually hate men, and that's why they are, you know, so strong in the feminist mentality. A lot of these women have even um, tendencies to be lesbian or bisexual. 
because uh, they feel this kind of uh, tendency to be very masculine and also they hate other women especially feminine women feminine women are the worst uh, they represent whatever they are not and they want to destroy them uh, there's uh, extreme cases like this woman has uh, usually uh, is a single mother and has children from different men I have seen uh, cases on online media you, you can see cases like this with women as with as many as four children each of them with a different father and these women have no intentions of ever settling down and they just live from the money from all the parents or the father that uh, engender these uh, these children she usually displays her body prominently on social media has no loyal women friends uh, actually has a uh, has very much difficulty to relate to other women is usually the kind of woman that uh, can have only male friends but uh, you can also see that she uses her sexuality to manipulate men it's the kind of woman that puts uh, men in the friend zone and then takes advantage of them for whatever purposes uh, she wants is a kind of woman who has uh, you know the only fans accounts that um, sells her body her image uh, to serve her own interests her own ego and he ha she has a strongly materialistic views about life and like I said <clears throat> don't make the mistake to think that uh, if it is a woman that doesn't have all of these traits then of course she doesn't fall into this category but actually this is um, very easy to go into this um, into this category if you just have a woman that has no loyal women friends that has difficulty relating to other women and feels more comfortable talking to men usually this kind of woman has a lot of these traits and they are just hidden or waiting to be developed uh, so it is like a clue of uh, how things uh, are going to be in in time if she continues to be attracted to this kind of propaganda this kind of image is the kind of woman that will have uh, you know very sexy photos in her social media Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, she she likes the attention, especially the male attention and she will post all kinds of photos and she feels proud of her body which is not really uh, wrong on itself, it's just the, the extreme behavior that you will see that this girl has uh, very low self-esteem this is why she behaves in this way she thinks of herself as low value and behaves accordingly until the reality uh, actually matches what is inside of her this woman has very low value in the social stratus and it is also a woman that it is not very useful for a man because will usually um, break his life break his heart and leave him broke without money so it's certainly a kind of woman that you want to avoid and um, like I said try to be as uh, objective as possible and try to see the signs and recognize this kind of woman and try to avoid getting into a relationship with a woman like this uh, before you actually commit your feelings and the women who are behaving like this um, they need to understand that even though they will be probably very popular among men men who hang out or hook up with this kind of women have no real intentions usually and they just want to use them and be used by them at the same time so these are kind of uh, women that will have um, attractive uh, also very low value men they will rarely attract a um, suitable partner and if they do so they will destroy them because uh, they are not able to 
commit to do something really serious about improving themselves. It's not completely hopeless, I want to say, but like um, I, my advice is to ad avoid this kind of woman. You should better find a more suitable person that at least uh, won't be so negative, having so many negative traits. Second uh, is the normal women. Unfortunately, this kind of woman is uh, not the most common in our days. This, of course, depends on each society. Uh, this kind of woman, you will find it more easily in countries which are not so westernized, countries that respect more traditional values, uh, probably countries in the Middle East, uh, Muslim countries uh, usually have this kind of uh, women among them. Asian women sometimes have this uh, good uh, honorable behavior. And also in Eastern Europe and you know parts of Russia, parts of the countries which were a part of the Soviet Union. In African countries you see also this kind of behavior not everywhere, but it is possible to find, especially uh, mostly in small cities, uh, people who have been raised correctly with uh, good uh, values. Also, Latin America is still possible to find this kind of woman, but it's becoming um, smaller and smaller the number of these women, and this is due mainly to social media and uh, mainstream media. The propaganda is uh, huge and uh, they make the case that being a woman like this is uh, totally not a good choice. So most women fall for the trap and avoid um, actually having a good opportunity to be a high value woman. So this is the woman that you should find. For, for a wife, this is a woman that you should find for a partner, for a life partner. And this woman can be defined as a woman with uh, traditional values. They respect men and their role in society. They have a healthy self-esteem, self-respect. Um, they usually have a good relationship with their parents, with their father especially. is very important for men to pay attention to this. The woman that you choose to be your partner, it is very important that she has a good uh, relationship with her father. And if that is not the case, um, you should be aware that there is a high risk there. Sometimes it's not her fault that the relationship with her father is not good, but if that is the case, then the woman should make up for it work on her own and fix her own psychology, fix her own problems, because usually this uh, kind of uh, bad relationship with the, with the father will um, result in bad relationships with uh, every man, significant relationships. Also, this is the kind of woman who can actually have good female friends, and this is a very good uh, green flag. If you have a woman that uh, has uh, good, loyal female friends, this is uh, of the uh, uh, utmost importance. You should always strive and pay attention to this. Um, this should be a woman that um, doesn't have a lot of uh, male friends, very few of them, and actually in most of the time hangs out with her female friends which is more respectable and actually produces more good results in life. She knows what is the place of uh, men in society, but chooses, uh, chooses not to take too many friends into her circle, social circle. You need to pay attention to a woman who has uh, spiritual beliefs and has an honorable social behavior, a woman that actually cares about her reputation dresses in a normal, modest way and doesn't display her body on social media to get validation from men. So it is a woman that will have, uh, of course, ideally will be preferable if she didn't have social media, but in this day and age, she's probably very unlikely. However, uh, if she has social media, she will have, you know, normal posts, normal photos, not displaying her 
body in um, how to say in a very inappropriate way to get a, a excessive attention from men and actually will not get the wrong attention from men because she usually posts uh, normal photos that will be let's see family friendly uh, PG-13 if you want to call them so that's the kind of woman that you should strive to have as a partner, life partner, someone that can actually construct a life with you and can uh, actually support you and help you succeed in life. It's a woman who understands uh, her sexuality and behaves in a responsible way accordingly. In this day and age, uh, I want to say, unfortunately, uh, even normal women have sex with uh, different partners, but it's usually in this kind of woman that you will find someone who didn't have many sex partners and will behave in a more appropriate way and try to respect herself and her partner and will not have an excessive amount of uh, partners, uh, both sexual and otherwise. So this is um, what we should all strive to find for our life <clears throat> as men. And finally, we find the, the superior women. This is a woman who will, will do her inner work, do the three factors of consciousness revolution. As we mentioned in previous episodes, will be willful death, the ego death, uh, soul creation, consciousness awakening, uh, she will know about the second birth, the sexual alchemy, spirit creation, the sacrifice for mankind, how to lead others to their own realization, to the teachings, Gnostic teachings. And this is a woman who is ready to support her man to become a king, a priest and a god. And this woman, when gets married to a man, will help uh, him become the best he can be and she will in turn become the queen, the priestess, the goddess, the mother, the lover, the wife. This woman rarely is uh, existing in, in our world but this woman can be fabricated the same as the superior men can be fabricated so we should not uh, probably strive to find this kind of woman in our world um, is very scarce as uh, yes as scarce as uh, superior men are in this world so don't feel disappointed if you don't find a woman like this um, I think uh, you can fabricate this woman together with her and uh, this is what uh, we want to be we want to be superior men, we want to have a superior women with us so we can overcome all the limitations that we currently find in every relationship uh, as, uh, as everyone knows uh, it is uh, is becoming increasingly difficult to have even normal relationships in our world so just be aware of that this is the final goal. This is what we want to, to have in our life, ideally. So that's why I advise people to avoid uh, courtes and women and try to find at least a superior women or um, a normal women that you can work together and find, uh, uh, let's say, the self-realization uh, together, you know. And this is some kind of summary. Um, I felt necessary to mention all these things because right now, especially among the youth, uh, men don't know what, what they should strive for. May they are sold a false image of what they should try to find in, in a woman. And women are actually also sold a false image of what they should have. Uh, so this is kind of a summary of uh, some of the things that I, I, I also find uh, logical. What men dislike in women, this, is, this should be obvious, but for a lot of women has become increasingly um, some kind of mystery, I, I would say. 
So tattoos and piercings are completely, um, how to say, a turn off for, especially for very masculine men, they, they are not interested in a woman who has a lot of tattoos, a lot of piercings. The larger the tattoo, uh, the worse is, uh, you know, for the value of the woman in the eyes of men. Uh, men actually want a woman who has no tattoos at all because it is um, it is very unattractive, especially huge tattoos anywhere in the body. You know, I have seen women that have uh, these uh, extremely big tattoos that are maybe artistically they are okay, but they don't belong in the human body, in my opinion, because they don't uh, really enhance uh, the beauty. They usually also, how to say, decrease the value of women, social value, sexual value, uh, the image of women is tarnished. Especially bad are these tattoos on the chest or the breast, uh, tattoos on the rib cage, uh, and it's been proven uh, psychologically that women with tattoos are prone to promiscuity, sexual promiscuity. They are uh, somehow inclined to have uh, pain in their life. And this is uh, proven psychologically. Some people will deny it. They say it hasn't been uh, conclusively proven, but there is enough evidence to show that uh, women with tattoos or piercing have a, a very low self-esteem and it is some kind of uh, self-deprecating behavior. So I, I, I will say what is my opinion, and I think my opinion is shared by many men, probably not by everyone. So that's, that's what I think every man should, should try to find in his woman. Women with short hair, they also have um, low value in the eyes of men, and this is both uh, social, uh, a social, uh, how to say, heritage, and uh, it is also um, even biological. So short, short hair is a symbol of, uh, how to say, um, negative sexual behavior. In the past, when a woman was um, unfaithful, she was uh, having, uh, how to say, um, sex out of her marriage or sex out of wedlock, as it is called. They were cutting her hair as some kind of uh, way to shame her for her behavior. And usually prostitutes also wear short hair. Now they try to make it cool and see as it is nice to have short hair. They say it's comfortable, whatever. This is what is the symbol, and the symbol has a meaning. So short hair is completely uh, unacceptable and is a symbol of uh, low value for a woman. So if a woman has short hair, she can always grow it back because it's definitely something that is not very attractive for men. And healthy body, uh, this should go without saying, but uh, it seems like right now there is a lot of, uh, how to say, propaganda that is okay to be overweight and it's okay, it's okay to have uh, fake boobs, uh, oversized, puffy lips, you know, these huge lips that ladies like so much. Uh, so let me be clear, men don't like this. For some reason, women like these huge lips, uh, but only women like them. Men don't like them at all. Overweight women are definitely um, not attracted to most men. If a few men are attracted, attracted to an overweight woman, it is uh, definitely uh, some kind of uh, abnormal behavior. I'm not saying it is um, something uh, completely negative, but it's definitely abnormal. You remember their definition of abnormal is something that goes out of the norm. So that means uh, very few people are actually interested in overweight women. 
So anything that is um, detrimental to the health of the body of the women, usually men see it as unattractive. So just to make uh, things clear. Wrong social status or image, it is also um, very unattractive. And I want to mention this, for example, that has to do a lot of uh, the reputation of women is very important. Nowadays, if you have, let's say, if you're a woman and you have the wrong reputation in your country, in your city, or wherever you're living, and if you want to amend or change that, if you already had sex with too many men, if you already had uh, too many relationships and want to change your life, want to become a better woman, change your life completely in a positive way, you, you can relocate. You can delete all the accounts you had with the, all that old image and change your social circle, become a different person. And you, fortunately, in our world, you can do that. You can change, you can go to a different area, a different state, a different city, different country. You can create a new, more suitable social status uh, so that, uh, you know, your future partner will not be uh, turned off by your past. I'm saying this in the most, um, how to say, um, positive way. Someone who wants to change their life, I think if they really want to do it, they can do it and they should do it. I'm not against people wanting to change. I don't want to condemn everyone for whatever to be a victim of their own past mistakes. I think everyone has a chance to be redeemed. So that's an option that you can do if you really want to change your, your social status, your image. And I want to continue with the things that men dislike. Um, men dislike too much makeup. I think it is uh, absolutely a no-no. And every man will tell you the same. Yes, women look better in photos with makeup. But makeup is really um, even uncomfortable for a couple. Uh, if your woman has a lot of makeup, you cannot even kiss her, you cannot even touch her face. It's uh, completely artificial. That's what it is, you know. Very few makeup, uh, just a little bit, uh, sometimes can, can be accepted by most men. But I have to say that um, in reality is uh, something completely artificial and most men prefer natural look in women. So that's, that's the reality. And especially because right now um, the makeup is not only uh, like powders and accessories, it's also uh, Photoshop. Women put too much Photoshop on their photos, so when they are trying to meet someone, they're sending the wrong image. They they try to make them themselves look better than they are actually looking. And this is some kind of deception. And when men become aware of the deception, they become disappointed. So yes, be aware of that, that makeup is a source, big source of disappointment for men. And Photoshop is definitely a no-no. If you're a model and you're going to create photos for your work, that's fine. But for your own personal profile, I will definitely recommend using as little Photoshop as possible, especially if you are looking to attract a man into your life. This is definitely something you should avoid completely. Another thing that men dislike is uh, when she has a lot of male friends or mainly male friends and she has no, no female friends at all. Uh, that is uh, definitely something that men really dislike. The whole materialistic attitude of women is really, really such a huge turn off for men. Men don't, don't appreciate materialistic attitude Men uh, really dislike that, uh, you know, women that have this attitude that, oh, you should pay for me, you should pay for my life, you should pay for my company, yeah, you know, uh, you need to earn my, my good behavior, you need to earn my best uh, mood or anything. Uh, 
you, you need to buy my my love, whatever. They want to portray themselves as uh, something that is up for sale. It's definitely something that men don't appreciate. When women have a disregard for men or for other women, this is something that men really, really, really dislike. They, they don't appreciate it at all. When she has had too much life experience or too much sex with other men is something that men also really don't like. And I want to say about too much life experience, um, an example that is uh, nowadays very common and women have the wrong impression. So I'm going to make a very, very clear example of how this works. I have seen many profiles of women that have uh, very beautiful photos in many exotic locations around the world. Well, what most men think when they see a profile like this is this woman was a travel slut. That's what they call it. Travel slut is a woman that has no money, but she slept with so many men and they took her into very exotic locations. They paid for everything and she basically took advantage of them. You know, she was paying with sex with her body for all these life experiences. So if you want to have these experiences, keep them to yourself. Don't uh, promote them in social media because most men are aware of this and they don't think it's cool. Actually, this decreases the value of women, but for some reason they believe it's uh, actually something to brag about. It's not. It's not and decreases the value of women so much. So if you have done that in the past, keep the photos to yourself uh, for your memories, whatever, but don't put them in your social media because most men are aware of what is the meaning of all that. Again, too many relationships, uh, men don't appreciate that. If you have especially um, relationship with your ex-boyfriends, uh, men also don't appreciate that. They are really not interested in a woman that has uh, uh, a lot of men in her life, whether they are ex-boyfriends or just uh, friends, so-called friends. They are not interested in that. Feminism is completely a turn off, big turn off for men. If you, if you, will, if you want to find a good man as a woman, you should avoid that completely. It's actually counterproductive for your own self, for your own life. There's nothing positive about feminism. It's actually self-deprecating. So that's what it is. What men actually like in women. Men want innocent girls. That's the whole essence of it. Men want a woman who has very little experience in life. And there is no way to say this uh, without any other words. Innocence is extremely attractive to men. So, and this is a completely feminine trait and that is becoming uh, scarce uh, as the times go and it is uh, completely you no know, underestimated women try to avoid looking innocent and it is the opposite they should look as innocent as possible virtue in women is appreciated simplicity we want a simple woman we don't want anything complicated men are really so so simple we want a simple woman who is kind innocent versus that's what men want most men and uh, are interested in these kind of things. Even those who, you know, go around and having sex with the low value women, they will probably have sex with low value women, but for the wife, they want um, high value women. So high value women will always be attractive even to low value men. So let's pay attention to that. We want a woman who is supportive, who is respectful, who is appreciative. Uh, appreciation is like one of the most, um, how to say, unknown virtues of a woman. 
when a woman can really appreciate, uh, you know, she can uh, transform the behavior of her, uh, her man in such a positive direction, because this is so rare. Women are rarely appreciated. They don't, they don't have, you know, the ability to say thank you, to show their appreciation in such a very small way. You know, men goes with men goes a, a long, long way. So it is so simple. Just be respectful, be appreciative, supportive, and uh, you have you can have the world basically as a woman. Spirituality, good values. Uh, this is also very much appreciated by every man. Intelligence, both emotional intelligence and mental intelligence. Nobody wants a stupid girl. I'm going to be completely honest. So if you are ignorant that can be fixed. Read, read books, stop watching social media, find actually some good books and read them and become, you know, knowledgeable about the world. Watch documentaries if you are too lazy to read, you know, but a good woman, woman who has knowledge about the world is highly appreciated by men. <clears throat> Virginity in many areas of life. So this is not just virginity as a sexual uh, trait. Of course, it's appreciated. It's so appreciated that in, in every, every society, virginity is appreciated. And unfortunately, now the social media and all the propaganda in all kinds of uh, media tries to sell like a virginity, some kind of disease, and you need to get rid of it as early as possible. And women are having sex as early as uh, 13 or sometimes even younger than this. So this is uh, something very bad that needs to be taken care of. Um, so men appreciate virginity. That means a woman who has very little experience in life because, let's say, the goal of men is to take her out and show her the world, show him his world, so show her his world and go together and discover the world together. This is the the dream of every man. They want to find a um, young, innocent girl who has uh, no experience around the world and he wants to show her the world. That's what men want. Youth, of course, is appreciated in men and this is uh, due to so many different um, reasons. It is not just biological, uh, it's hormonal, uh, it is uh, biological, it's also social, but it is also psychological. Women who are young are more pleasant, they are less bitter, and this is just because they have had less bad experiences in life, so youth comes with fresh fresh life, uh, fresh uh, impressions about the world, uh, fresh opinions. Uh, so what's not to like about youth? This is actually um, one of the things that women want to, um, how to say, negate, deny that it exists, but it is, it is the case that many women try to have the hookup culture while they are young, and then when the youth is extinguished, when they reach 30, 35, they want to become a normal girl. And sometimes they don't succeed because they are no longer young and men are no longer interested in them. Especially if they have a very negative social image, men are not interested in that. Health, we are very interested, very much interested in a healthy woman who is usually is better to be a non-smoker, non-alcoholic, non-addict woman. So everything that is for this uh, woman who takes care of her body, you know, in a positive way, is very, very attractive to men. If she exercises, is fine. If she doesn't, but she still takes care of herself, is still considered very attractive to men. So it is uh, basically you can take all the opposite things uh, from the things that men dislike and turn them into positive. We want a woman who has uh, self-respect, who has a healthy self-esteem, who is very feminine. This is the reality. This is life. This is what women like uh, in deep down. This is what is natural. 
for women, but uh, this artificial construct that women have embraced recently is very negative and very destructive. So that's all. Uh, I hope it's useful, um, especially for young men and young women before they continue destroying their lives, you can still rectify. And it doesn't mean that um, you need to be perfect. You just need to pay attention to the things that are really attractive. And um, just recognize reality that uh, men will never change. The nature of men will never change. And this is natural for many reasons. I explained this in a previous episode when we were talking about the plants of nature, what nature wants. So this is actually, yes, very basic. Yes, very basic. If you want to go beyond basic, you need to go with a superior man, superior woman, and start working on yourself and uh, doing the inner work. But even for the basic level of existence, this is completely necessary. So that's all I wanted to say for now. And uh, finally, I want to say that you, you can find your dream girl. This is possible. There are still out there women who are worthy of your, of your effort, worthy of your value as men. So develop yourself into a worthy man so you can attract to your life a worthy woman. That's all I wanted to say for now. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. And as always, I want to remind you about the opportunity to help me support my work as content creator. In the description of each episode, I include information about different platforms you can use to support my work with donations. If you want to, you can also like, share this episode in social media and subscribe. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching this episode.